Hi, this is Kim with Mom's Creative Moments. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing another lesson for Scrapbooking 101.5. If I'm not mistaken, this should be lesson 14. Today we're going to talk about how to use our border maker cartridges and our punches to create frames for both your photos and your pages. Let's check out my workspace and we'll get started. All right, this is my workspace for our quick lesson today. I have pulled, um, I've pulled three border maker cartridges that are currently still available on our Creative Memories website, and I have pulled several of our border punches, and you can see uh, most of them have the title of the border maker punch on top, or written on top. This is the geometric punch for some reason. I didn't write that on there. These four on this side are what we call frame punches. So they are meant to be used as frames and they can be also used as borders. These two over here are meant to be border punches, but I'm gonna show you how you can use them to create a frame. I'm also gonna show you how you can use your border maker cartridges, though they are a little smaller, to create a frame as well, okay? So um, specifically for these three, and occasionally measurements may vary, but for these three, you want to start off with a piece of paper that is five and a quarter by seven and a quarter inches. So I have three of them pre-cut over here so that I can um, go ahead and do this fairly speedily for you and show you how it works. This is our border maker system. This is the holder for your paper. You take your paper and center it. And the best way I know how to do that is to come in here and you don't want to center it right in the middle. You want to center it just to the right or to the left of center. Um, and the reason is because what I'm looking at are the posts. Can you see the notches that are in here? Those notches are the center point of where your, your car border maker cartridge is going to punch. So you want to center this paper so that one of those notches is in the very middle of your paper. And I find it best to look at it from the standpoint of, I try to find the center visually, and then I look out here to the edges and I look to see if there's the same amount of space between the edge of my paper and the next notch on both ends of my paper. And that's how I visually determine whether my paper is center or not. If that's not something that you're good at or you worry that you're not gonna have it right where it should be, just measure. Find the middle of seven, and this is the long side, so seven and a quarter inches find the center and put a little mark out here so you can see it and then you can line that up with one of the notch points. Okay, So I'm going to push that out to the shoulder of my border maker housing and I'm going to go ahead and close the arm and close the guide. Then I'm going to choose one of these. Let's choose the brand new one that we just got, the scalloped hearts. That one makes a cute cute frame. So what we're going to do is we're going to come over here and we're going to punch three times. So we're going to punch once, twice, three times. You'll notice there's a gap on the end. That's okay. You want that. Okay. So don't let that bother you. Now I'm going to turn this around, flip my guide back out, and I'm going to line that paper back up again with the peg right in the center. Remember? just like before, and I'm going to punch it three more times. One, two, three. Okay. Now I'm going to pull the guide back out again. I'm going to turn this, and rather than lining up my pegs so that there's one right in the middle, I'm actually going to center this between two so that I have two pegs on the each end of this piece of paper, okay? So I'm gonna center it again by looking out here at the edge of my paper. So don't tear these edges off because you'll need that 
for guidance and I'm just going to center that the best best way my eyes will let me okay so pushing it out so that it's right there at the edge I'm going to close my blue arm close my guide and come in here and punch twice okay then I'm going to turn it around and do the same thing with this end finding the center and punch and punch all right so now I have a really nice frame for a photo this is not um, large enough for you to go ahead and put use it on a whole page but it is perfect for a photo you can see how a three and a half by five and a half um, photo will work just beautifully in there okay now you can go in with your precision point scissors and you can snip off these corners or if you like the corners you can leave them there but it is up to you just sort of follow the pattern of the of the punch add just a little bump there or like this one is almost right on and so is this one so no need to even trim those I can just pull that off and then I can toss this or I can use this on another layout because it is kind of a cool theme all right so there's one we can do we could do more but I want to show you the difference between these frame punches and the other border punches so let me just show you real quick here is the the um, citrus slice punch and here is the poinsettia uh, edge punch so you can see they make very similar um, versions of a frame to this one you just have to trim off these corners and just follow your design that your your edge that you already have and make something similar when you trim that off and you'll be just fine again these start with a five and a quarter by seven and a quarter piece of paper okay now let me just move this out of the way the other the frame punches you'll be familiar with because and let's just use this leaf punch and I'll show you the, these punches are designed to be used um, as a frame and you know that because there's a silver line that goes down each arm out here can you see that silver line okay so what you would do is line up the edge of your paper with that silver line instead of the mark on the front and you'll notice that this 4x4 four four piece of paper fits neatly right in between the two I'm just gonna center it just a little bit there we go you punch and you turn and you recenter it or line it up on that line if it's not a 4x4 four four piece of paper and you punch and you turn and this is basically how you get a square frame okay now this is a four inch square so it's not going to allow you a whole lot of room but it would be a great base for your embellishments or something like that that's really cute and you could add some stickers to that very easily and make it a really nice base for your embellishments and the larger pieces work much better and I can show you let's see let's do the six inch one okay so the six inch one you're gonna line up here on the edge just like that punch slide and line up that design with the blue on this on the wing and punch again then we're gonna turn it we're gonna line the corner up again with that line and push it all the way back to the back that should have come off and it didn't so I goofed somewhere hopefully the rest of this will turn out just fine turn it now if you're familiar with the circle punches that we have made before there's like two or three of those 
they work on a similar in a similar way but not exactly the same way as this so um, don't let it boggle your mind or confuse you but um, there is I don't know why but that is just not meeting up exactly it's okay we can you can cut or tear it off and it works beautifully okay so now we can put a photo in here that would measure roughly three and a quarter inches square so a six by six piece of paper would allow you to frame a three and a quarter inch square photo okay you have to realize that this punch is going to take about an inch and a half an inch to an inch and a half from each side so it just depends and I do recommend that before you or before you use one of these on your regular paper your designer paper you really ought to practice with some scratch paper first I thought I would show you in the interest of time I'm gonna skip to this big big one right here and show you how to make a large frame with with a non frame punch now keep in mind if you're going to make going to use a frame punch your paper should be an even numbers so four by four four by six six by eight eight by ten ten by twelve twelve by twelve any of those will work just fine for the frame punches they need to be an even numbered measurement on the edge and they'll come out just beautifully these however need I believe any even number would work with these as well not every punch really will work I have found that some are easier than others so you're going to want to play with it before you use your special paper that you really want for your layout okay this is scratch paper so I'm not worried too worried about it but if you've never done it before I would definitely practice this is a 12 by 12 piece of paper I just folded it from corner to corner I'm gonna use the admission ticket frame and show you how this one works now most of these the key is to insert your paper this is the fold insert your paper like you would to punch and the corner of it up here goes right just barely showing back here and then you'll get exactly the kind of punch that you want but to do a frame punch with the ticket the admission ticket punch as you can see and this one's a fairly new one but I played around with this one and I did not like the way that it turned out when I used it um, the traditional way that I'm used to making a large frame so instead I've put my point even with these separation dots right out here so the point comes all the way out here okay then I punched it once and I'm gonna pull it just carefully to the left so that I can punch it again there's not really much that will will get punched out just that little notch and the little end off the edge we're gonna proceed back to the left line up our design out here on the right hand side and we're going to punch it two or th a total of three times okay so we punched it once I take that back that's four times so we do the initial punch we slide it to the left we do one more punch for the fold then slide it back to the right and punch twice more so we just did one and we're gonna do one more lining it up and doing our third punch okay now I'm going to flip it like this and that really is the key flipping your paper like this okay we're gonna do the same thing on this corner lining that point up with the middle of this row of four dots the separators for the ticket Okay, then we're going to bring it back over here line up the design on the wing punch again 
slide it back through and we're going to punch twice more. One and two. Okay. Okay. So this is what it should look like. Now we're going to open it up and we're going to align the punched sides and fold it the other direction. So we're going to go this way. We're going to line up these two corners with each other. Okay, it's just like that. And carefully run our fingers out the edge to that corner and over through the middle. Keep that lined up. Run our fingers out the edge to this side and fold it into the middle. Okay. Now what we're going to do is line up this punch with the wing best you can and it may not be exact because it just it all depends on how accurate you your folding and your punching is but we're going to punch that and we're going to pull this out and line it up one more time and make one more punch just to get that end notch right we're going to flip it over and do the same thing on this side Okay, line it up the best we can. Make sure it's pushed to the back. And one more just to get that extra little notch on the end. All right, so this piece is extra. Just toss it to the side. You'll be able to use it another time, especially if it's your designer paper. You'll want to save it and use it for another time. And then this opens up and is a perfect 12 by 12 frame for your 12 by 12 page. Cool. And if you did it right, you get these little cute little bonus hearts on the corners. See, this one didn't quite get it, but most, all three of the four are um, have these cute little hearts, <laughs> which is kind of fun. All right. Well, I hope that that is helpful for you and kind of cleared a few things up. If you have any questions, please make um, note of them in the comments and I will be happy to explain further for you. But until next time, I hope that you have many more creative moments. Have a great day.